Good morning. Today we are doing lesson 7.3, which is solving linear systems by uh, adding or subtracting. Uh, what we're going to do, the, the method we learned, which we just talked about back here, is called elimination, or how do we eliminate something. We're going to be either eliminating um, either the x's or the y's in an equation by adding or subtracting. So first, just a quick review of what's the opposite, or how would I get rid of 4? If I had four skunks and I wanted to get rid of them, I would have to eliminate them by subtracting four and that would make zero or nothing. We usually don't write zero, we just say they're eliminated. If you have something negative and you want it to go away, you'd have to add two x. So for those, those would be eliminated. The opposite of five y would be negative five y. And then last, the opposite of negative eight would be a positive eight or adding eight. Down below here we have some equations, so moving one step further. What would I do to get rid of or eliminate the x's from the left side of the equation? So in our equation here, if I wanted to get rid of these to move them to the other side, or to just get rid of them in general, I would have to subtract 2x in order for those to eliminate. Over here, I would have to do the opposite of subtracting, which would be adding 3x. And those would eliminate. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to add a slide here for a second. Remember back to mm, elementary school sometime when we added, let's say, 241 to uh, 318. If I was going to add those two numbers together, I would add these two numbers together to get 9. Then I would add these two numbers together to get 5. And then I would add these two numbers together to get 5 as well, so my answer would be 559. Same thing if I was subtracting. So we're going to be doing that same method, but with equations. So we have two equations. We're just going to be adding them together so that either the x's or the y's will eliminate. Now in order for something to eliminate, we just discussed that they have to be opposites, one positive and one negative. So we really do have a positive and a negative with either our x's or our y's. Now, if we look here, we have our x's, which are going to happen to eliminate if I add these two equations together, because 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So I don't need to write those. Those are eliminated. Then I have 3y plus 5y gives me 8y. Then there's an equal sign. And then I'm adding these as well. 11 plus 13, that gives us 24. Now we have one new equation. We just combine these equations together. We have one new equation where we can solve for y. So divide by 8. 8 times 3 is 24, so y is 3. 24 divided by 8 is 3. Now just like we did with substitution, we need to plug this back into one of the two equations to find x. We know y is 3. I'm going to substitute it in to the top equation. So that top equation says 2x plus 3y, and y is also 3, equals 11. So we need to solve this to find x. So I'm going to rewrite this, 2x plus 3 times 3, which is really just 9, equals 11. So I'll get rid of adding and subtracting first. I'm going to subtract 9. So those eliminate, and I have 2x equal to 11 take away 9, or count up, we just have 2. And then the opposite of multiply there is divide by 2, and 2 over 2 is just 1. So my answer where these two lines would cross if we were to solve for y and graph them would be this point 1 comma 3. So that is our answer. We're going to try the same thing on the next one. One thing you need to know is that we always have these in what's called standard form. We learned that earlier this year. Our x's and y's on the same side of our equal sign, and then just some number on the other side. So this one is set up to eliminate as well, because our y's are opposites, negative 3 and positive 3. So when we add these two equations together, those will eliminate. Then I have 4 plus negative 2, or just 4 minus 2, would give us 2x equal to 5 plus negative 7, or 5 minus 7 is negative 2. 
So then last step is to multiply is divide. And we get x equal to a negative 1. So there's x. We can plug that back in to find y. I'm going to use mm, the bottom equation, this one here. It says negative 2x, and x is a negative 1 from right here, plus 3y equal to negative 7. So when we solve here, negative times a negative makes a positive 2, plus 3y equal to negative 7. I'm going to subtract 2. Always getting rid of our adding and subtracting first. And these are all negative, so it's a negative 9. And then last, the opposite of multiplying is divide. 9 divided by uh, 3 is negative 3. Oopsies. So my solution where these two lines would cross, if we were to graph them, is negative 1, comma, negative 3. X and then Y. All right, on to the back side. We're going to eliminate either the x's or the y's. Now, which one's going to eliminate this time? The x's are not the same number. The y's are, however, positive 5y and negative 5y. So those are going to eliminate. So we can add these equations together to eliminate our y's. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2x. And then 12 plus 6 gives us now... 18. And then last, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So those eliminate, and we have x equal to 18 divided by 2 is going to give us 9, and it's a negative. So we know x is negative 9. We're going to plug that back in. It um, doesn't matter which equation you use. I'm going to use the top one. It says 2x, which is negative 9, plus 5y equal to 12. So 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. So we're going to add 18, add 18. Always getting rid of addition and subtraction first. So 18 plus 12, well 8 plus 2 is 10. And then we have 3, so 30 and divide by 5. 30 divided by 5 should give us 6. So our solution is negative 9 comma 6. Now this next one looks a little bit different because they're not above each other like we've seen in the past. Well just like we did this equation here we could have seen 241 plus 318 written out this way and we would have had to set it up like that. So we can take these two equations and set them up above each other or vertically. I'm going to rewrite this one down below here. 16y minus 3x equal to 33. Now I'm going to add them together. We can see here that our x's are going to go away. They'll eliminate. 3 minus 3 would give us 0 when we add them up. Negative 11 plus 16, there's more positives. 6 minus 11, since we're really just subtracting here. 6 minus 1 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0, so we have 5y. Equal to, these are different signs again here, even though it says add, 1 is negative, so we're really subtracting. 33 minus 18 should give us 15. That's one that you may want to use a calculator for. And then last, divide by 5. 15 divided by 5 is... 3. Now we get to plug this into one of the two equations. Um, doesn't matter which one, I'm going to pick the top one. Negative 11, y, and y is 3. Plus 3x equal to negative 18. Well, 11 times 3 is 33, and it's negative. So we're going to add 33 add 33, get rid of, getting rid of adding and subtracting. And we just did that same problem up here, same one again, we have 15, but this time we're dividing by 3. 15 divided by 3, well 3 times 5, should give us 15. 
So our answer, where these two lines would cross, is 5, 3. Again, this is going back to what we did the very first day. We graphed two lines and figured out where did they cross. And it may have been at 5 and up 3. All right, our last slide here. Now this next one, we can't really combine these two together because one's an x and one's a y. So we need to first make sure that these are both in standard form, like we did back here. X's are in the same ab spot above each other, and then our y's equal to some number. So what we can do, we usually put our x's first. The first equation does have the x's first, x, y number. We need to flip-flop these two around then x's, so we have negative x and a negative 2y equal to a negative 13. I'm going to just rewrite this one down below here as well. x plus 5y equal to 28. Now we have our x's, our y's, and our numbers all in alignment. I'm going to put 1's here because we know those are negative 1 and positive 1. So that happens to be our term that's going to eliminate so we have a negative 2y and a positive 5. That gives us a positive 3y. And 28 take away 13. If you're not sure, 28 minus 10 would be 18. 18 minus 3 more give us 15. And divide by 3. 15 divided by 3 should give us 5. And then we need to plug it back into one of the two equations. I'm going to use this top one here. It says x plus 5y, and y is also 5 from here, equal to 28. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. So x plus 25 equals 28. And then subtract 25. We get x equal to 3. So 3 comma 5 would be our answer. All right, this next one is leading us a little bit into tomorrow. However, there are some equations that we are going to do today that aren't set up super nice, for example, on your homework, um, in terms of having our x's and y's above each other and one be positive and one be negative. So like back here, we had a negative 3y and a positive 3y they're not all going to be set up nice and neat. For example, if I add these together, 2 minus 4, that's not going to eliminate. We need something to eliminate. 5 plus 5 is going to give us 10y. That's not going to eliminate. But they are the same number. So instead of adding, we can simply subtract. But if I'm going to subtract, I can't just subtract the 5y. I need to subtract all three terms. Think of these as individual subtraction problems. I'm subtracting these two, I'm subtracting these two, and I'm subtracting these two. So we're going to put that negative or that subtraction sign. I'm going to put it all with the bottom number. If you want to put it all with the top, that's fine. Just pick one equation or the other. We know now that this 4x was negative, so for subtracting a negative, two negatives make a positive. These ones were already positive, so they are now negatives because we're subtracting. So we're going to combine these together now. 2 plus 4 is 6x. 5 minus 5 eliminates. And 12 minus 6 is 6. So we're thinking or dealing with this in terms of just one piece at a time. Subtract all three. So divide by 6. And 6 divided by 6 is 1 and then plug it back into one of the equations. I'm going to pick the top one, 2 times x, which is 1, plus 5y equal to 12. So there's 2 plus 5y equal to 12. And get rid of addition and subtraction. Subtract 2. 12 take away 2 is just 10 left over. And divide by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So our solution is 1 comma 2. There are a couple more on your homework where you need to be careful and make sure that you're subtracting 
and not adding because you should only have one letter left over in your equation once you add or subtract your equations, which is called elimination. All right, your homework is uh, 7.3. You have nine questions for homework. Like this first one, you can add together because our y's will eliminate. This next one, same thing, you can add together because the x's will eliminate. If you go down, though, for example, to number 4, if I add these together, a negative 6 and another negative 6 won't eliminate. So instead of adding, we need to subtract. So you need to subtract all three terms. The two negatives will become positives. The positive will now be negative. So you're just changing the signs. Then you can add those up, and those will eliminate. And for example, this one would be 6 minus 3 is 3y, and 6 plus 12 is 18. So be careful. For example, this one you're going to have to subtract all three as well.